quick tutorial on how you can take multiple tracks and consolidate those files into one single polyphonic or multi-channel uh, file. So for example, if we were recording over here scene 98C, take one, um, you'll see that there's track one, track two, track three, and track four. They're all separate. So if I drag one of these into the timeline, it's just a separate deal. And track four, there we go. There's our other mic. So these line up exactly the beginning and the end are the exact same length because they were recorded at the same time, but they weren't put together because I can't, I can't click all of these at once. Sure, I can highlight them all like that, but then what happens if I want to just trim all of it down at once? Well, I can't. I mean, I could do this and then try to highlight them all and do that. Yeah, there's a lot of extra steps you can take. But traditionally, an audio recorder will label this under one file name and it'll have these separate tracks all connected. So it's one wave file that has four different audio tracks. So it's what's also called a, I guess, a polyphonic wave track uh, or a multi-channel single wave track. And that's the way I like to work and that's the way every other day of filming was. So um, this one day we have a problem. So how can we consolidate this? I like to actually just line them all up at the very beginning. What you wanna do is now that they're all lined up, you wanna to go to your Fairlight page or your audio editing page in DaVinci Resolve. Now, the other thing I'm gonna show you really quick, let's just highlight all these and delete them. Here's a quick little shortcut if I put my playhead here at the beginning. I can highlight all of these in my media bin. Shift and arrow down, one, two, three, four. There's scene 98, Charlie, take one, all four tracks. Now, if I just grab this click and drag they're all kind of lined up you can go down a timeline they're all lined up one after the other but if you hold down command when you do that you see there all of a sudden they all stack so that's a little shortcut you can use to do this really simply straight in the Fairlight page now you want to highlight them all and you want to link them so you can right click and choose link clips now you see that they're linked because there's the little icon for a chain if I were to go here and just drag one of them, oh, they're still not together, right? So I need to basically make this a single file. And the easy way to do that is you highlight them after you've linked them. You right click and under the menu, there is a bounce clip to files. Now I've got all these clips selected, even though it's a single clip, I've got them all linked and they're selected. Once you hit that, then this menu pops up and we can name it or well actually we can choose a folder hit browse we'll just put it on a desktop um, hit ok and and the the name of the file will be the clip name this is going to be this first clip on track one so it'll be it'll name this file c98c take 01 track one and we want to do instead of mono files we want to change this to a multi-channel file because otherwise it would just spit out four separate audio files, which we already have. And the bit depth, I would suggest 24. Hit bounce, just like that, split second later. Now if I drag that into my media bin, voila, there it is, and it lines up because it's alphabetical. Now if I go here and drag this one into the timeline, boom, look at there, all four are lined up together. That's it, that's how you do it. You don't wanna link them all like this because then that'll really be weird because different takes are linked together, but you can still link this. Use our shortcut to make it quick and easy. And now when you highlight these after you've linked each different take um, and all of the tracks for each take, if you right click and choose bounce, same folder, same settings, it pulls up the same thing, that's nice. There's one. There's two, it will do them separately. I bring those in, let's drag and drop so we can make sure that's working. Now, when you bring them on top of here, and lo and behold, there we go. You have each one of those is done all together. Okay, that's it. Good luck with your project and hopefully that helps you to consolidate and streamline your audio editing um, whenever you're putting your movie together. Thanks.